I mean, the perks of holding the last session is twofold. One is clearly I'm standing between you and your drinks. So I have to make this interesting. And I can talk about as much purpose as I want, but I'm sure to make the evening purposeful, I should make this worthwhile for you all. But uh, secondly, it's to make sure that you end the day with an impact. And what better than having Tata Soulful, which has been an impactful brand for the consumer in the last 10 years. When I was asked to talk about feel to feast, I said like the only feels that I know that that is the millet feels that we started off with. And feast is something that we have had while we've got the consumer adopted to millets. In the last year celebrating the International Year of Millets recognized by the UN as the Global Year of Millets. And today going to the grassroots with 4 lakh stores across the country where we sell close to 36 packs every month in every store. So which means we know that a nation, when we started off 10 years ago, I literally went city to city, calling it Ragi somewhere, calling it Nachni somewhere, and calling it Mandua somewhere, and people wouldn't understand, cut to today, where we've dialed it up to where the entire nation calls it Millets, including a store in Bihar where I was last month. Anyways, I'll cut the intro quickly and move on to the next slide. So, can somebody tell me what this means? Neither does it look like feel, nor does it look like a feast. Anybody here? Exactly. Bangalore right now and that's where I'm coming from. Anybody else? Absolutely. This is a tap, yes, but it's not serving its purpose. It does not have water. When we started off with Soulful eight years ago, we went to solve this problem. Little did we know, we were told that we will be walking into the problem by 2030. And I have newspaper articles to show you that but we are already in that problem. You have apartments in Bangalore where people have to go to a gym or a mall to have a bath. And it's not a joke, right? But you know what? Like these, these, these data points are not to scare you. I am a firm believer that marketing is not done with fear. Marketing is done where you are solving a problem. We are solution creators and how do we come up with it? Yes, I mean, by 2030, the India's water demand is projected to be twice its available supply. That's not going to change. We are a growing economy, we are a growing population, and it should not change because our GDP is not going to grow at this rate if we are going to, you know, curb our population. Hence, what we decided to do is, how do we solve this problem? And it takes the sum of the parts, right? Like every, unlike that tap, if each of us contribute a drop to this ocean, to bringing about a change, then there is something that we're going to add up. And I'll give you a very, very, very interesting trivia once I talk about this. Uh, most importantly, before I get here, there are three things that matter, matter other than Bollywood at cricket to the Indian consumer. Roti, kapda, makan. And water, unfortunately, hits all three with scarcity. We said, what can we solve for? And we said, let us at least start with roti. And that's when we went on to work with ancient grains, which are a part of our culture, which was always there, but it's just that we lost them in transition. A simple solution that we thought of when we saw this data, one kg of rice requires 4,000 liters of water. A kg of rice is consumed in a household over two days. And this, kg, while one kg of ragi or millet or nachni or whatever you call it, is consumed over almost four to five days because it's complex clubs. It, it disseminates energy slowly. You cannot eat as much as right. Only needs 400 wood liters of water. Now, what is the attention is in the details because this one kg of rice requires water from the ground. And what we are running out of today is groundwater. We have enough rainwater, even with the scarcity of rainfall, while millets require water from the sky. So the trivia that I was going to tell you about, if Bangalore alone, I'm not talking about Karnataka, which is a high cash crop state, if Bangalore alone with its limited rainfall conserves water just over its monsoon season, it can store water and provide enough water which they receive from the sky to all of Karnataka. So that is the power of, you know, water from the sky versus water from the ground. Today, everybody is, is crying hola, saying that, I don't have water. How many people are solving for it? So now, 
and why millets right these grains are extremely powerful yes they are here to save the world no doubt about it but there is something more about them which is which is nutritious so we've all heard about superfood i'm walking up and down i hope you guys can see the screen uh we've heard of superfood broccoli makhana so curcumin which is our turmeric which we put in milk and drink these are all superfood now what is superfood superfood is food which is good for you however millets are smart food what is smart food smart food is for good food which is good for you it's good for the planet and it's good for the farmer and this is extremely important for us to dial up in an economy which is 80% an agrarian economy now all of you all might ask that what is the reason that we used to consume rice and wheat it was a very simple phenomena we started consuming rice and wheat during the green revolution because at that time our country's problem was hunger satisfaction today hunger is not a problem i'm sorry to say what i say but a lot of people we see on the streets look extremely healthy when they are asking us for arms so hunger is not an issue today the problem today is nutrition satisfaction and these grains have adequate amount of nutrition to give us they are indian they are rooted in our culture our grandmothers believe in them our forefathers ate them and for all the things that we want to have which is high fiber high protein high calcium they have a lot more nutrients in them than a lot of grains that you see out there most importantly they have complex carbs so it is carbs so we can't have a carb free diet but it is it slowly disseminates energy so which means if you have like a bowl of any millet by the end of the day it would have disseminated energy at least over 2 to 3 hours that you're not going to eat that often and you have enough energy to go and this is something which was recognized by the un and that's why 2023 was declared as the international year of millets why have i put it out here it's not just information to tell you that this problem was staring at us very long we had a solution however thanks to the fact that last year was the international year of millets which was declared globally the awareness for this grain has gone up significantly now what comes in next we know that this grain was there in our ancient culture we know that it is good for us we know that people know what millets are but the consumer's question is very simple and what does the consumer ask isme mere liye kya hai that's all he is asking he's like yes you've told me all about this i know all of this if you google millets you will see all the benefits all the types etc right but the consumer's question is it is not easy to cook this grain it's not easy to eat it and i am going at a pace where i am moving on with my life i'm extremely aspirational the country is moved like leaps and bounds where we are looking at extremely high disposable income nobody wants to let go of that so where you need to solve a problem is a problem can be solved if the brand goes and solves a consumer pain point by getting into their life and solving the way they live and that's where tara soulful came into place where we took a humble grain which was so strong in 2000 bc consumed the way it was and transformed it in a format that today's urban consumer likes to eat it in in a form factor which makes these millets convenient you buy it off the shelf and in the next few slides i will tell you it's not only important to bring it in a format where it's just convenient it's also there are various other factors if you look at the indian population to be able to solve for so how did we do this so two most important tgs right one is that you have a proposition second is you have a product now is the two most important tgs a the mother and child second is the young adult and why to solve for these two most importantly the largest growing tgs in the country today if you look at data the mother really cares for her child she is constantly researching to understand what is the best thing that she can offer her child she goes to two people one is her own mother which is rooted in tradition second is her peer and community groups who talk about what is trending so you need to bring an amalgamation of the two and give it to her so that it's easy for her to adopt and makes that dichotomy of her relationship with the child you know pleasurable why the young adult now this young adult is the 25 to 45 year old or 25 to 35 year old youngster who's come out of college who's now an early jobber who's doing well who's aspirational his vanity mat you know matters to him he cannot have a hunger one night on wednesday and go to work on thursday and feel okay those those days have gone he cares for his health he wants to go to the gym to work out but i mean how many of us have paid like gym subscriptions and never showed up right so this is the way when you bring in these categories 
for these consumers, they are early adopters, but then we need to kind of layer it with other aspects to be able to make it even more penetrated, which is what we did. Okay. Yeah. So the, the journey that we set out was on building a strong, purposeful brand. And in order to build a strong, purposeful brand, we had identified the TG, we understood what is the proposition, we understood that it was a generation we are talking to who is rooted in the goodness or the values of the old and the goodness of the now. You're talking to the same generation, right, who at the end of the day loves to listen to Dilji Dosanj, but then he is obviously listening to it with a little bit of a rap, or who likes the Fab India Kurta, but now likes to wear it with a pair of jeans. It is that dichotomy that you're dealing with. It was important, hence, to bring products which were high quality, because this is an informed consumer. Most importantly, an affordable price point. Otherwise, you're going to be a fad, and you're going to stick, go back to the fields. With ease of accessibility, and you will see how we kind of, hence, made that purpose into reality. And most importantly, when you're talking to those two consumer sets, you have to make this humble grain cool. And that's what we set out to do. Mm. Our high quality products were not just about nutrition, but also in taste, and it was taste first, health forward. What do I mean by that? We very quickly evolved to realizing that if you want to make a change in the grassroots, if you want to make a difference in the change in the way India eats, you cannot give them cardboard and expect them to have stickiness to it. They are very, very taste conscious. Food is a very important part of our day. Any plan, whether it's birth, death, wedding, outing, revolves around food. Any recreation revolves around food. So it was extremely important to go down the route of making tasty food, solving consumer pain points, but at the same time making it extremely nutritious, which came as a byproduct of all these propositions. Now, while we do that, like I mentioned, it was important to bring it in affordable price points. When we just catered to GT MT stores, which is your modern trade and e-commerce, where most trending brands launch with large packs, we were penetrating to close to 4 to 5% of the country's population. Where, were, we, were we doing value sales? Of course. We were doing fantastic value sales. But our purpose was not that. Our purpose was to be able to use this grain to combat the issue that we are all facing today and to bring about the change. We are a country who is about the magic price point. I think the rubber met the road when we were able to launch these products at a magic price point of 5, 10, 15 and be able to really provide nutrition to grassroots and to be able to take this entire piece to the consumer, make it affordable, dissect it into categories, is it and look at what is the saliency in the respective categories. So if you're talking to a child who is in a 10 lakh plus town, who is going to come with that 5 rupee pocket money, you have to be able to give him a ten, an interesting, tasty proposition, but make it affordable and be that choice over that chocolate that he's going to buy. If you are selling to a child who's coming with a 10 rupee pocket money in a tier 2 town, he is you, now obviously you are taking share of air, against the savory snacking brand, so how do you kind of appeal to him? And most importantly, when, I, when we spoke about the young adult, that rupees 15 price point for that young adult for whom it becomes a healthy alternative, but a tasty masala alternative. While we made it affordable, with, it was important for us to do it with the ease of accessibility. Today, like I told you in the start, we stand in 4 lakh stores across the country, and the truth or the reality check happens when a retailer in a store in Jharkhand actually tells you your own proposition back and you get that video from some customer. So I'm just going to play that for you. अच्छा भैया ये जैसे हम आपको अभी रागी बाइट टेस्ट कर रहे हैं कैसा लगा आपको बहुत ही बेहतरीन टेस्ट है मतलब रागी का मड़वा का बना हुआ है तो बच्चा लोग के लिए मड़वा का बना हुआ तो रागी है तो बहुत ज्यादा तो आज के डेट में लोग मैदा से ही सब कुछ खा रहे हैं तो रागी जाके तो शरीर में बेनिफिट देगा लेकिन मैदा का तो एकदम ये सो फाइल आर आउटलेट्स 200 स्टोर्स 2000 distributors having said that what was most important was where we started off on our journey where con consumers had no clue what millets was like somebody in the west did not know what ragi was and only knew about nachini 
we were able to get this guy to talk about how maida is not good maida to obviously acha nahi hai na anybody in this room is going to put up their hand and say maida acha hai right why should we heed to an american brand which is giving you 60% maida 39% sugar and your child is eating it and you're willingly giving it for breakfast don't we have it in us to build the india story to be give, able to give an indian grain and we said yeah why not take up that challenge and bring it at this price point with the distribution now was the real game the entire presentation before was about how you know apparel was cool but we started off from the fields we started with a humble grain it was then important for us to bring this proposition alive by talking to each of these consumers in a cool fashion and that's when we brought our monster in who's called krancha mancha while the mother is the one who buys into the no maida proposition this boy made it cool for the kids we took him to schools we took him to parks and today he's become a property for us where kids relate to him the awareness if anybody understands brand awareness matrix so we just did a brand track with cantar a couple of months ago the awareness for this monster was his coco monkey who's the kellogg's monkey who's been around for 18 years today he's had a 82% awareness with the consumer which was no small feat for us right because we started tv but the whole point was that when your product is at the center of it and the kids start loving it and you're talking to them and luring them from where they are looking at you or they want to buy into the franchise each of these parts started adding up for us whether it was influencers or whether it was or it was marathons today we see consumers go out to these people because even without having a brand like soulful these influencers propagate millets and that was really purposeful for us it was not about making soulful the health food brand it was actually solving for that consumer problem as to what is that grain that you're going to eat when you are going to be and, and you know when a, when a consumer is in crisis they want to hear positive things they do not want to hear about what's going to take them deeper and then came in this association this association was a true uh, testimony of purpose for us when you are able to stand in a in a portfolio which is tata products which is extremely trustworthy and the brand that you see out there joyful i will tell you all a little more about it once i say it was we stood strong where we were able to talk to the millennial consumer which tata did not cater to but they believed in the future of millets and to be able to take these millets on in this portfolio with a purposeful credible brand that's what we needed because while we stood alone as soulful there was a sense of trust but nothing like the sense of trust that tata brings in there is no brand in this country which commands you can bring anushka sharma or priyanka chopra they have only that much of a life as much as they look good but the trust that this brand holds i think it's gone from like generations beyond us and it will go to the generation next because it's truly rooted in purpose we were then able to take launch a brand in uk and us called joyful where we sit in mainstream retail which is like uh, we sit at the sainsburys and tescos in uk we have just launched at five guys and we are launching at safeway in us it's an indian breakfast cereal brand which sells on sits on the mainstream aisle propagating an ancient indian grain and that was really proud for us and while we talk about all of that while you're part of the tata portfolio this is was truly purposeful for us tata has namak and we all know it's desh ka namak and then you have tata chai which is desh ki chai which set us out on a purposeful journey to be able to make millets desh ke millets and overall how the whole story came in together is when you are able to become that brand that sits on the dining table which might come in through the child or might come in through the father or might come in through the mother but finally it's a whole family which trusts this brand and they all enjoy it together and there is a smile on our face and that's what we wanted to do where it is not about the father it's not about this franchise appealing to any one segment and when you become that family brand you know you are a millet household now you do not have to teach the consumer that why they need to save water you need, we we started solving for it it's just this adoption or even consumption of this 3 days a, a week is enough for the consumer to be able to make one step towards a nutritious india and to be able to move towards a sustainable india i will just show you a couple of our videos that we made 
to say how we made this humble grain cool, how we brought the monster in, how to the consumer it did not appear like a boring or a humble grain or a boring brand. It was truly about making this whole proposition very, very cool. Can you play this for me, whoever is on the console? Rahul? Rahul? Hmm? Chocolatey! Tata Soulful, no maida, choco. Crunchy, crunchy, chocolatey. Choco, choco, chocolatey. Choco, choco, chocolatey. Sat crunchy greens ki shakti. Aur ye sara yummy chocolate. Tata Soulful, Raggy Bites. No junk, all crunch. We were able to proudly own the mantle of no junk. Looks to dekho, ek dam must. Pretty good taste too, huh? इससे बेटर मिलना तो मैं तो टाटा सोलफुल मिलेट न्यूज़ लेके बात कर रही थी। Wholesome grains, 25% crunchy millets, chunky fruits and nut. टाटा सोलफुल मिलेट न्यूज़ ली। Better crunch, wholesome much. अरे कुछ खाने को। What the hell? वाह? हम्म, not tasty. क्या है? Masala Oats. It's so non-sticky. Impossible. It's not just Masala Oats. Tata Soulful Masala Oats Plus. Oats Plus 25% crunchy millets, 100% real veggies and desi masale. Tata Soulful Masala Oats Plus. Non-sticky must taste zabardast. So this is just a testimony of how you tailor make content for a consumer basis the TG that you're targeting. So this particular last ad that you saw we look at the middle class consumer who, rec who kind of buys into the brand through our rupees 15 offering. And just to give you all some data, we launched our Tata Soulful Masala Oats Plus Millets in November 2022. Today we stand at a 10% market share. If you go by Nielsen data, if a new brand or a new product gets 2% market share in a span of two, two and a half years, it is considered to be quite a tall feat. We, we, are, we are right now sitting at a 10% market share and guess what's our largest market? Our largest market is UP and the north of India and that truly goes to show that the consumer is not averse to adoption. It is just about giving them the right format with the need gap that they suffer and to be able to give them the right offering and then you can move mountains. Rahul? Yeah. I think this, this clearly was, uh, was a feather on our cap and I will tell you why. While, you know, so what is the biggest barrier where you see a lot of brands who are truly meaning purpose, who are not able to deliver that purpose? Because there is something called COGS. There is a cost of raw material, there is a cost of packaging material and that does not help you deliver the right PNL for the brand. When we were able to bring millets, which is, a, which, which is our choco sticks, at a price point of rupees 5 with 30% less sugar, no maida which is the cheapest ingredient in any product in any confectionery that you say to see today at that 5 rupees price point and we launched it in close to 3 lakh stores across the country. Our launch value was 4 crores. We knew that we had attained that Eureka moment. Today as we speak, this was a product which we launched in October 2023. Today we are sitting at a 4% market share versus ITC who are sitting at a 90% market share. These are just what I was trying, what I'm trying to say through all these things is that it's not impossible to change the way India eats. It's not impossible, it does not need to be niche. It does not need to be premium. It just needs to be customized and it truly needs to be backed by purpose. And this is a classic synergy for us between the farmer and the folk where today we proudly say that we backward integrate with around 4,000 farmers. We have around 800 FPOs where we have given them processing units and they are proud because irrespective of the weather change, millets are all weather crops, rain, no rain, they still grow. They do not require extra water from irrigation because they survive on water from the sky. So it's truly purposeful and have a soulful evening. Thank you so much.